Israel achieved all its objectives in its attack against military targets in Iran, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, while Iranian leaders said the country would respond to the strikes. Israel says it hit 20 military targets Saturday in what it called a limited attack that nonetheless degraded Iranian air defenses and weapons facilities. We have severely struck Iran's defense capabilities and its ability to produce missiles, Netanyahu said Sunday at a memorial for the victims of the October 7, 2023, Hamas attack on Israeli communities near Gaza. The attack on Iran was precise and powerful, achieving all its objectives, Netanyahu said. Due to the Israeli strike, Iran will probably not be able to supply Russia with new ballistic missiles anytime soon. An important consequence of the Israeli strikes on Iran is that Iran will not be able to supply ballistic missiles to Russia for many months until it restores its production capacity. Writes Israeli Middle East expert and Haaretz journalist Anshul Pfeffer in X. In addition, Tehran will no longer be able to supply ballistic missiles to Hezbollah and Houthis terrorists. According to media reports, Israel has disabled 12 installations that are used to produce fuel for ballistic missiles, which make up a significant part of Iran's arsenal. It may take at least a year to produce new installations. Iranian President Massoud Pazeshkian told Iran's Council of Ministers on Sunday that the country will give an appropriate response to the strikes, state media reported. We are not seeking war, but we will defend the rights of our nation and our country, he said. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, supreme leader of the Islamic Republic, called the strikes a mistake by Israel in its calculation regarding Iran. Israeli Defense Minister Yov Gallant, meanwhile, said the war is being conducted without a clear compass. The significant developments, foremost among them the direct exchanges, increase the need to hold discussions and update the war objectives, he wrote in a letter to the cabinet. A spokesperson for Netanyahu called the letter highly perplexing. Israel's war objectives are constantly reviewed and were even recently expanded, the spokesperson said. An Israeli military helicopter was seen over southern Lebanon Sunday, as smoke plumes dotted the border where Israel launched a ground invasion earlier this month after nearly a year of almost daily exchange of fire between Hezbollah and Israel. Elsewhere, two Israeli strikes killed eight people in Sidon City in southern Lebanon, with 25 wounded, according to Lebanon's health ministry. One strike hit a residential building, according to footage taken by an Associated Press reporter. The Israeli military said four soldiers, including one from the military rabbinate, were killed in fighting in southern Lebanon, without providing details. It said five other personnel were severely wounded. An explosive drone and a projectile fired from Lebanon wounded five people in Israel, authorities said. What well, this is the six? Yeah. This is the, so this is different sensor, right? It's a, it's a basically the same, really. Yeah. What's the difference?
Israel's military released on Saturday footage of troops locating and destroying an strategic Hezbollah underground facility in southern Lebanon. The IDF said that the facility was over 1.5 kilometers long and stored equipment that enabled hundreds of militants to stay inside for extended periods of time. Israel has said it will continue to strike Hezbollah until it is safe for Israeli citizens displaced from their homes near the Lebanon border to return. Hezbollah has vowed to keep firing rockets into Israel until there is a ceasefire in Gaza. The health ministry in Beirut says the total toll over the past year is over 2,600 killed and 12,200 wounded. עוד קילומטר, עוד קילומטר בתצורה הזאת. של בירי יציאה, מצד אחד אפשר לראות. של נלחמים, כמו שראינו מתחמי לינה גדולים עם מיטות ומזרונים. מזרונים, מיטות, עם תחמושת ביחד, מזגנים, ציוד לחימה, תירס, מרים. עוד מלא 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 דברים, אפשר גם לראות פה המון אמל"ח, הרבה צלפים, עשרות רבות של תחמושות, אם לא מאות, מטענים, מערכות יזימה. המטרה של המערכת התת-קרקעית הזאת, ובייחוד המתחמי שהייה האלה, היא בעצם אותם פעילים של חיזבאללה, של רדואן, להגיע מהכפרים הסמוכים, או מהכפר הזה, כאזרחים רגילים, על פניו, לבושים בבגדים אזרחיים, נכנסים למנהרה הזאת, למערכת התת-קרקעית הזאת, עולים פה על ציוד לחימה, על וסטים, נשקים קלים, נשקים כבדים, מקלעים, תחמושת, המנשאים שלהם, וברגע הפקודה יוצאים מהתקפה למדינת ישראל. זאת מערכת שהם בנו מעל 15 שנים, ועכשיו אנחנו פה, ואנחנו נשמיד את המנהרה הזאת. ארבע, ארבע, שתיים, אחד, 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 א